Miss, am I the only one when you start the record? It says that the meeting is being recorded. Yeah. Yes, I can. I can hear it as well. The Miss Beauty listing, the meeting is being recorded. We'll be hotel it at the get kida yani. We can order a hotel in the room. Yes, Maria. After the universe, can we play the teams? Yes, sure. And it will be two boys and two girls. Yes. From now. Yes. Okay. I am always Mariam will get the bonus points. Yes. <laughs> okay, inshallah. Just uh, let's start and we will play it. Uh, so, give reason the importance of measuring temperature. So, it depends on your answering now. What is the importance about measuring temperature? Hmm. Why do we need to measure anyone? temperature? Mm -hmm. What? Anyone? Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Hey, Mary. Or Ahmed. Anyone? Importance. To help what? To help. Uh, in mm -hmm. Warm clothes. Warm. No, here we are not asking about the importance of temperature, Ahmed. I'm asking the importance of I measuring. Yeah, oh. Okay, the importance of measuring temperature. Hmm. Or remember. To know if you are sick or no. Okay, so to know or help us to know our body temperature. Okay. So we know our body temperature, so we will be uh, able to know if we are good or sick. Yes. What and, is? Uh, processed uh, food. Yes, the food processing industries, because they need a specific temperature. Very good. Huh? What is the third one? Uh, and no, the temperature of the weather, if it's hot or cold. Excellent. So the weather yes. temperature that affect our life. Yes. Yes, really. I think I know something. I'm not sure if it's uh, for this question or not, but uh, changing the volume of a liquid by changing the temperature. Uh, but how is it an importance about measuring temperature? It's a, a correct information. But here we are speaking about the importance of measuring temperature. So help us to measure our body temperature or to know it. To measure the weather temperature uh, that affects our daily activities and some processing of food industries that require certain temperature. So yeah, these are the importance of measuring temperature. So why do we need to measure temperature, Omar? To help us measure the body temperature, weather temperature, and uh, when they make food, some processing of food industries, not at home, at factories, they need to make it at certain temperature, so they have to measure it first, so they become sure about everything is okay. Okay, this is the first thing, the importance of measuring temperature. So, Omar, can you say them again, please? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Helping us to measure the body temperature, helping mm -hmm. us to know whether temperature, which effect which affect our life activities, uh, some some process of food and and, and stars, yes. uh, mm. wires and wires certain temperature. Yes, very good, Omar. Thank you. And we said already that the device that we are using to measure temperature is a thermometer. So thermometer is a device that is used to measure temperature. So can we measure the temperature by touching only, Mariam? Oh, can uh, we? No. Why? Because if you touch someone, for example, that is sick, you will be able to know he is, he has fever or no, right? Yeah, but we don't know his temperature. Yes, very good. 
So we'll feel how hot or cold he is. But we will not be able to know which degree he has. Of course, it's not magic. So no, we can't because the sense of touching help us in finding out if the object is hot or cold only. But we can't measure that temperature with our hands. Uh, Ahmed, what is the idea or what is the main idea of making thermometers? Uh, uh, changing the volume mm. by changing by changing the temperature when the object is hot the temperature is a uh, liquid uh, the liquid expands and if it's cold the liquid contract thank you so the main idea of making a thermometer is depend on the changing in the volume of the liquid how? By changing the temperature. If the temperature is hot, if the temperature is hot, so the liquid expands by heating and contract by cooling. So what is the main idea of making thermometers? Liquid expand by heating and contract by cooling. What is the main idea uh, of making Miss, can I ask a question? Yes, sure. What is the color of the milk? Silver. Uh, so I do it yellow yesterday. <laughs> no problem. It's just a draw. Okay. So um, even uh, yani yesterday, uh, the thermometer felt on the ground. It's uh, like I told you, it's very dangerous, by the way. Uh, when the, uh, this liquid comes out from the, the thermometer, it makes like balls. Silver balls, but we can't touch them, we can't smell them. They are very dangerous. Uh, okay, Miss? what was it? Hmm. It's an element found in our crust and our earth's crust. Like they are uh, mining for it and all the other elements. It is the only metal, the only metal that is in liquid form. All the other metals are solid, except for the mercury is liquid. So the idea again of making thermometers is depending on the change in the volume of the liquid. Liquid expand by heating and contract by cooling. Who can say it again? Other than Ahmed. Hmm. Ah. Okay, so uh, Miss, I uh, I said me, but uh, the microphone oh, is closing. Okay, changing the temperature. Uh, the idea of making thermometer, changing the volume of liquid yeah. by changing temperature. So, yes, what happens to the liquid by heating? Expand or contract? Uh, Heating expand and cooling contract. Yes, very good. Julia, what is the idea of making a thermometer? Uh, in changing the volume of liquid by changing the temperature. The liquid yeah. expand by heating and contract by Michelle. cooling. Yes, very good. Julia, can you concentrate uh, besides your sister or brother? If you can hear me well and you can concentrate, so no problem. I have headphones on, so I can hear you. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Uh, Omar, so what is the main idea of making thermometers? Uh, it depends on the, the changing. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Depend, depend on changing in the volume of liquid uh, by. Right. Uh, yes, look changing. here. Can, can you see this picture? You can see this yeah. liquid inside. When look here, it moves, it moves, it expands by heating. Like expand, it means increase in the volume. And it yeah. decreases in the volume by cooling or contract. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So liquids here. Liquid, so liquid expand. Liquid expand by heating and contract by cold. 
Yes, excellent. We have two types of thermometers, medical thermometer and Celsius thermometer. We started already in the medical thermometer. So uh, what is the structure? Let's see it here of the medical thermometer. Yeah, Ahmed. Hmm. Uh, the very thin tube that is closed from one end is? Capillary tube. Yes, there is a part in the capillary tube that is not straight, right? Yes, constriction. Yeah, thank you, very good. What is the function of constriction, Mariam? Uh, it, pre it prevents the mercury mm. uh, from uh, mm. going back yes. to the bulb. Yes, excellent. So it prevents the mercury from returning back to the bulb quickly in order to read it easily. If, uh, Julia, the bulb filled with mercury is called? Mercury, mercury bulb. And it is connected to? Uh, the, 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 yeah, capillary. The, the capillary tube. Yes, excellent. And it is connected to the other end of the capillary tube. And finally, the thick glass tube that covers it. This is the thermometer. We have the glass tube that is transparent glass. We have a capillary tube inside. It is very thin tube, okay, closed from one end, the other end connected to the mercury bulb. Then we have here a constriction, this port, this is called constriction in the capillary tube above the mercury bulb. Why? To prevent the mercury to return back quickly so we can read the measurement easily. Finally, we have here the uh, mercury bulb. So it is a bulb filled with mercury and connected to the other end of the capillary tube. This is about the structure of the medical thermometer. Uh, how about what is the normal temperature of our body? Anyone knows? Miss I know. Hmm. Like normal or from the beginning to the normal, end? normal. I know, I know. Uh, I think thirty six or thirty seven. Yeah, maybe from thirty six to thirty seven. And uh, what about the scale, Mariam? It starts from uh thirty five and ends to forty two. Yes, very good. Each degree is divided into how many parts, Julia? Please can you say that again? Each degree in the thermometer is divided into how many parts? One part? Ten parts in between one oh, degree. The in, in... small lines? Yes, the small oh, lines. Ten. Yes, each part one over ten degree. Very good. Now, or today, we are going to take together how can we measure with temperature, and I believe all of you already know. So, first of all, um, yani we are going to use it in uh, be, below the tongue if I want to measure with the thermometer, and I, I will add it below the tongue. What I'm going to do? First, let's open it and see it together. Um, okay. Miss, can I do it mm. with my uh, thermometer? Or can't be. But you have to, like the first step, like we are going to say now, to sterilize it. So you have to sterilize it if you want to put it in your mouth, yes. Ah, okay. So, let's see here. So first, the first step, sterilize. Now we feel this boy is sick. We need to measure his temperature. So we are going to first sterilize the thermometer so we can use it uh, to uh, measure his temperature. So we are going to put it inside this sterilizer, all right? Like we know, this is the mercury bulb. This is mercury, like we can see. This is a fine capillary tube. This is the constriction. 
This is a normal one. And it starts from 35 to 42, the degree of the thermometer. So we need to put it be, below the tongue, below the tongue to measure the thermometer, the temperature. Look here, how mercury expands. So we can measure his temperature. What is his temperature? Hmm. What is his temperature? 38.3. And then we're going to add more five. So he, he, is, he has a bad fever. Okay, so. Miss, this guy okay. has the corona. Uh, not sure. There are a lot of viruses, a lot of bacteria that causes fever already. So uh, first of all, we have to put it in a sterilizer, sterilize the medical thermometer using ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol, the first thing we have to do to put it in ethyl alcohol. Here we go, this one. So we have to put the thermometer in ethyl alcohol, alcohol. So we can sterilize it and make it clean, 100% clean from all bacteria and viruses. Then we are going to dry it very well because we can't put the alcohol inside our mouth. So we have to dry it very well using tissue paper, tissue, clean tissue paper. Then we are going to shake the thermometer. Why do we need to shake it? To be sure that the mercury return back to the bulb. We'll be sure that the mercury found already inside the bulb. Then I'm going to put the thermometer under the patient tongue for a minute. We can say two minutes, but it's one minute is enough. Okay, so we can put it for a minute. Then we get the thermometer out from the mouth and record the reading we are going to see. Then we are going to sterilize it again. So if anyone else took it, take it and to measure with it, it will be already sterilized. Miss and then we are, I can do it. It's easy for, for sure. Miss, can you explain it again? Yes, I yes. I understand it. Okay. Look here. First, the first step, we are sterilizing, sterilizing, sterilize the medical thermometer. We are using alcohol. Like you are sterilizing your hand when you go out with using alcohol, right? So you are going to sterilize the thermometer using uh, the medical thermometer or using, sorry, the uh, acyl alcohol. Okay, this is the first thing. Um, number two, we are going to dry it. Dry the thermometer very well using a tissue paper. Then shake it, shake it. Why do we need to shake it? Give reason. We shake the thermometer well before we use it. Huh? to become sure that the mercury goes back to the bulb. Because when we shake it, it means we are cooling it, so it contracts. It will return back to the bulb, all right? Then we are going to put the thermometer under your tongue for a minute, for a minute. Get the thermometer out of your tongue, then record the temperature reading. Sterilize it again using ethyl alcohol and put it in its box. And finished. This is the way you are going to use a thermometer. Okay, so when you buy it, you can try it. So there are six steps: sterilize it, dry it, shake it, put it in your uh, under your tongue, get it away from your mouth, and record the measurement. Then sterilize it again and put it in its box. Okay. Hmm. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's why I asked you to, uh, to try uh, using the thermometer so you can imagine more. So the normal temperature of uh, the healthy person, we can say it's 37 starting, even with, if we start from 36, so it's we are and you are going to add the the measurement so we can say the normal temperature 37 the normal temperature for the healthy person 37 so when we find if we measure and we find that the the, the measurement is 37 so it is normal that's why mariam when you uh, wrote your step 37.8 i said no what's wrong with her yes <laughs> 
37.8, it means fever, yeah. So the normal temperature of the healthy person at 37 degrees Celsius, okay? Um, how about uh, if you try to do this, don't ever try to do this with your brother or sister that is younger than you. Don't put it in his mouth, put it under his arm. Why? Because maybe he will seize or uh, squeeze it in his mouth and you already know mercury is very toxic and dangerous. So if it is broken in his mouth, it makes big problems. That's why we are not, don't seize the thermometer firmly. Don't seize the thermometer firmly. Don't squeeze it firmly with your teeth. Why? In order to not to be broken because mercury is a toxic substance. Okay? I'm saying don't touch it, don't smell it. How about to swallow it? A big disaster. Okay, that's why we, even we are not using this way. We are not using it under our tongue. We prefer to use it under our army. Uh, okay, so who can tell me now why should we shake the thermometer before we use it? Yeah, to the bulb we come back. Yes, was Mercury what? back? Yes, Amr. I uh, can Okay, so tell me why we must shake the medical thermometer before using. Uh, 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 the, uh, to make the mercury back to uh, his bulb. Yes, excellent. Very good. To make the mercury uh, or to force the mercury back to the mercury bulb. Uh, why the medical thermometer must be kept out of reach of children? Yeah, Ahmed. Hmm. Because they can squeeze the thermometer and the mercury will go out of it and swallow it. So. You, know, yani, you have to say yeah. because it's a toxic substance. The mercury is a toxic substance. Because it's very the mercury dangerous. is a toxic, hmm. toxic substance. Yes. yes, very good. So the mercury inside the thermometer is a toxic substance, so it is very dangerous. That's why we have to keep it away. Uh, from our out of the reach of the children. Uh, miss, yes. yesterday mm. I, I was measuring my brother's temperature. Then when I was putting the uh, thermometer under his arm, he was he was scared because he thought uh, it's going to hurt him. Uh, it's like injection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's simple and easy and not hurting at all. Okay, uh, how about the thermometer with Ahmed? Let's see it here. This is the one that you have. The digital thermometer. Yes. This is the, the modern devices which display the body temperature digitally and used especially for children. Uh, it's simple and easy and just make a sound. Once you hear the sound, so you have your measurement. So it's just easy to use. Okay, but the, what is its problem in my mind and yeah, not in the book? Uh, it's battery. If the battery begins to, uh, to weaken, so the measurement will not be accurate. That's why yeah, I prefer the mercury. We use it when someone's sick, then that's it. Like we yes. don't use it every day. Yes, sure, sure, yes. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, yani, anyway, uh, we, we should have both of them. Yani, if we have... Uh, the digital one, we, we, we should keep another, another uh, mercury one. Yani both of them already have mercury, but I'm saying the other one. That's the origin. <laughs> the origin. So the digital thermometers, they are modern devices which display the body temperature digitally. It means digitally means with numbers, yeah. And used especially for children. The all about medical thermometer. Now you want to make the competition? Yes. <laughs> okay. Miss, are we going to take the Celsius thermometer today or no? I prefer no. We can take it next, inshallah. Sir. Okay. So let's see. Miss, when the, when the session is 
when I finish all my sessions, I'm mm. going to put my thermometer under my tongue and try it. Really? I'm, I'm but, really you have to, but you have to sterilize it and be careful. Yeah, I know. You have to. Mm. Okay. <laughs> then you are going to swallow the alcohol. No, yeah, I know. don't do this. <laughs> do you want the competition to be about heat also or about mass and weight? I know your answer, no, heat. heat. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, the science for grade six is the easiest, the smallest ever. Yani, it's your chance this year. <laughs> you feel that the, the science is very small and very simple and very easy and everything. Uh, in, in grade five, yani, science can yani. Yes, in grade five, okay. it is the hardest. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And after this year, inshallah, you are going to take real science. Like uh, this year, you, you are just going, taking information, like information for yourself. But from uh, grade seven, inshallah, this is the real science. Oh, let's start. Uh, miss, is it harder than the heart? No, it's not hard. It's just real science, yani. not hard. Enjoyable. Yes, you will love it. Uh, okay, you are two teams and you want power ups. I know all of this information. Uh, Miss Omar didn't take the heat yet. I will ask him about only two days less. Okay. okay. Each question, we will open it here. It will be a question you will answer, and I will add another question related to today's lesson. Okay? Yeah. Uh, miss, are you talking to me or all of us? No, all of you. But can you say again because I didn't hear? Uh, I was saying that uh, when we open any question, it will be a question related to heat, but not related to temperature, uh, sorry, uh, thermometer. So I'm going to add another question, yeah. Okay? The oral. Okay. So let's start with Maria. Yeah. Uh, seven. Hmm. The degree of hotness or coldness of the body. Temperature. Sure. Okay, this is related to postless. Okay, Ahmed. Uh, five. Thermometer. <laughs> okay, tell me what are the types of thermometers? Uh, uh, medical thermometer and mm. Celsius thermometer. Mm. And we are using, uh, what are the difference between them in usage? Like, we are using the medical for what and Celsius for what? The medical, we use it in, uh, in to know uh, if we are sick or no. And the Your Celsius one, we use it. We use mm. it to know if the object is hot or cold. Okay, so uh, let me tell you the right answer. The medical thermometer is the temperature of the human body, our body, okay? And the yeah. uh, Celsius thermometer that we will take it, uh, temperature of liquids, liquids, like any solution, any liquid, okay? This is okay. the difference between them. Hello, Julia. Number what? Number twelve. Twelve. Uh, give reason. Iron is a good conductor material because it allows heat to flow through it. Your Omar. Three, miss. 
Copper differs from iron in conducting heat. Why? Because it's faster than aluminum and iron. Yes, because copper conducts heat faster than aluminum and iron. Okay. And uh, what is the okay? What happens to the mercury on heating? يعني يعني on heating what happens to the liquid contract or uh, uh, expands? Uh, in heating it expands. Mm. And by cooling? Uh, contracts. Yes, excellent. Very good. Uh, six. We can put some in the food. What? Sanya? Uh, Uh, sunny, sunny. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, conductors of heat? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, 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 Okay. Uh, Julia? Number 11. Huh? Oh, really? <laughs> they took, you took your revenge. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, Mariam. Number 8. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, Omar. Omar. So the boys mm -hmm. mm. mm. One. Uh, Okay, so I'll ask you a question about today. Do you remember what is the main idea of making the thermometers? Uh, uh, to uh, 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 to is the temperature uh, when mm. you touch a piece of ice. Mm. Cool. Mm. It was about the volume of liquid. Like the, the volume of liquid it change by changing the temperature, right? Like it's yeah. by heating it expands and the by cooling contract. Okay, I'll ask you something else. Do you know why should we shake the thermometer before using it? Uh to know is uh, the mercury go to his butt. Uh, here the question, when you touch a piece of ice, you feel cold. Ahmed, you can answer it. Very good, Omar. Uh, be, hmm. because, uh, because when you touch it, the heat uh, in, on your hand, yes. it goes to the ice, so you feel cold. Yes, very good. Uh, Maria. Uh, <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Okay, four. Mm. A form of energy. Mm. Heat. Heat. Okay, of course, it, it's not a question. So, uh, let me think. You already know the scale about the thermometer. Okay. Why shouldn't you seize the thermometer firmly under your teeth? Or why shouldn't you, you or wh why should we keep it away from children? The thermometer. Because mercury yeah. is a toxic uh, element. Uh, yeah. Number nine. Uh, they are materials that let heat flow through them. Heat conductors. Heat conductors. Omar, Omar. Okay. Omar. Okay. 
Oh, we have oh, something yeah. called heat conductor and heat insulator, but you didn't take it. So, um, mm. heat, and heat insulator. No, 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 don't. It's heat conductor, but uh, no problem. Do you know what is the normal temperature okay, of the healthy person? Normal what? temperature. The normal temperature of the healthy person. 37. 37. Do you remember the scale of the, the medical thermometer? It starts from what and ends at what? What? Again? Yani, the scale at the thermometer, if you have a thermometer, what is the first reading? It's the 30, the first reading. 30, the uh, 30, uh, 30, it's 35. And ends by 42. But okay, well done. Let me get correct. Miss Can You Vision, can you give us just one question? Just one question. <laughs> what, what question for what? No, I mean, my name and Julia is 65. Oh. Yes, yes. Miss, I want to every time. Every but, single time we play this game, my Miss, game. By the way, my game. My the time. Yes, uh, by the way, Ahmed, you were you was the winner last time. Yeah, I need to remind you. Yeah. Okay. I know. Because so. of Julie. <laughs> yeah, Julie. Uh, I so give you 25 points. Yeah, I know. Yes. Uh, all right. So um, I I know that you are, mashallah, amazing in the second unit, heat and uh, thermometers. That's why we should revise mass and weight again, so you can be perfect in it, like the same like heat. Okay. Um, okay. So how about to make competition related to problems in mass and weight? Miss, in this just, eight minutes, I'm going to analyze my thermometer and the try it right now. Wait a second. No. Where is... Oh. I think Mariam knew this game, but I'll show it to you. Hey, Miss? Mm -hmm. I, I can go and sterilize my thermometer and put it under my tongue and steal it. Yes, you can, but uh, you have to ask your uh, mother and at the same time be careful. No, miss, I, I can do it by myself. Don't worry, miss. I know Swiss. How should we call it? Lock. Uh, wait a second. Oh, yes. Here I'm going to tell you a problem. Okay. Uh, the one will, uh, you are two teams, boys and girls still. I know it's not that fair, but uh, I believe that uh, we should do this. So I'm going to write but a problem. Because Miss Salma didn't take the last yes, lesson? Yes. No, it's, that's okay, Miss. Uh, fine. Uh, so uh, the one who will say the answer first will get a goal uh, in the other team. Okay. So the first, the first, the first question, the first question, focus, focus. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Okay. The first to be so fast. Yes, the first question. If the mass of an object on the Earth's surface equals sixty kilograms. What okay. is its mass on moon? Six kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one. Let's go. Uh, the Let's, second. Because, uh, because uh, uh, the scale uh, don't change uh, when I change from... Yes. Excellent. That's yeah, right. Because the mass scale, is not yeah. changing. Mass. mass. Yeah, the, the mass, mass is not changing. Very good. Right. Uh, if I ask about um, what is the weight of this object on moon, uh, on Earth, sorry. What is the weight of this object on Earth? 
Ms. Bytel. I give a chance to the girls. To earth, uh, earth or moon? Earth, moon? earth. The weight on earth. Weight on earth. Mass times it's, it's It's mass is 60. Oh, okay. Uh, 600. I will mute Ahmed next time. So I give uh, the girls a chance to say that. So, uh, Ms. do I answer the questions or no? What, Ahmed? Do I answer questions or let yes. the girls answer? Okay. No, yes, yes. <laughs> Miss, I'm very happy right now because I'm winning. Uh, they already won in the last competition. Maria yeah, and Julia, focus but more. This yeah. is the second competition, so I hope I win it. Uh, all right. Julia is closing the mic. Okay. But I think uh, you are with us, uh, Julia, right? Yes, yes, she's here. Five. When we go away from the center of the earth, weight, uh, the weight increases or decreases? Uh, uh, when we go away uh, from the center, decrease, miss. decrease. Yes, when we go away from the center of the earth, the weight decreases. Who said first? Omar. Miss, I did. Oh, wait, I did. Miss Wallah, I said first. You said it with, with muted mic. Ah, no, Julia, my, my mic was my mic was off. Mr. Dick, what? My mic was open. Oh, I didn't hear you all at all. Hello, so, uh, yes, yes. Uh, they deserve the answer, so they have one goal. So now it's two uh, one, not three one. Type when we go away from the center of the earth, the mass. Doesn't change. Yes, Maria. <laughs> oh, really? I, I, I made the goal in the other uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, measuring a device of weight. Spring scale. Uh, scale. Spring scale. Mm, okay. Hey. Uh, measuring units of Newton uh, of weight. Uh, Newton. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I was saying. This is yeah, not fair. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> understand me before I talk. Okay. Um. Right. I have to know. Yes. Uh, if I want to calculate the weight of uh, an object on the moon related to the weight on Earth, weight on weight. moon is weight on Earth. Weight by, on uh, Earth by, by ten uh, by six. No, it one uh, over six. It, uh, weight on Earth uh, by one over six. Excellent, Julia. That's right. Now you are the same points. Let's see who will win. Yeah. Is this the last uh, one? Last one. Let me finish. Last question. I am thinking. Okay. Yes. Um. The mass, the mass of one paper clip equals okay. one gram. <laughs> and blue team wins this time. <laughs> yes. It means that you are one no, one. <laughs> yes, it's fair enough. <laughs> Okay, because mashallah, all of you deserve to win, yani, to be honest. Well done, all of you.
So, 